Hey guys, welcome back. This is me, Sal Mahajan, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing about how to deploy Sonar Cube on Azure App Service. So, before we do start the video, um, all the links that I would be using will be available in the description below. So, let's get started. So firstly, you would require a Microsoft Azure account. So if you do not have an Azure account, you can head over to azure.microsoft.com. Again, the link will be down in the description. You can click on sign in over here and it would sign you into your Azure account. Assuming that you do not have an Azure account, it would create a new account for you uh, and you would require a Microsoft account for the same. And you would also require a credit or debit card if you are setting up for the first time. Now moving on to the GitHub repo. So this is a GitHub repo that we would basically be using. It is a one-click uh, installation uh, for Azure. So you just have to scroll down and you can see a button over here that says deploy to Azure. So we'll click on that. And now this will load up the Azure portal for us and we'll just wait for it to load. As you can see, it's a custom deployment and we are using a custom template. So I will just go through the details. So you would require a subscription, so you can choose in whatever subscription you have. You would require a resource group. I will be creating a new resource group for this. So let's go with YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna leave my uh, region as Central India, my hosting plan name, just the default, and my site location because I'm in Central India. So I'm gonna go with Central India. Uh, site name, I would um, put this as YouTube Sonar Q. That's great. And your SKU name is basically the pricing tier of your Azure app service. So I would recommend to stick with B1 if you wanna go with the cheapest possible and yeah. So you can go with B1. And this is again the repo URL that we are using, the branch master. And when we come to Sonar Cube Edition, uh, I would be going with the community version because that is free and open source. As even that you're a developer enterprise or data center and you do have those paid subscriptions, you can opt for that. And I am stating that I want the latest version of Sonar Cube. So then we click on next, that is review plus create. It's run some final validations. And you can see the validation has passed. Uh, we can just sc scroll down and we can see our basic informations over here, like your subscription, your resource group. You can just verify all of these details. If everything matches out according to you, you can go ahead and click on create. And as you can see, initialization, deployment, submitting deployment, deployment in progress. So you'll be redirected to this page, which is basically showing you that your deployment is in progress. Now this will take about uh, about five minutes of time to deploy successfully. So um, I would cut the video right over here and be back once this is done. Hey guys, so I'm back here. You can see that your deployment is complete. So now you can click on go to resource group. So this will take you to the resource group that you have just created or any other resource group that you have used. So as you can see over here, that's the type app service. So this is the one that we're interested in. That is YouTube Sonar Cube. That is what I have named it. I'm gonna click on YouTube Sonar Cube. It's going to open up the app service page for us. And as you can see, it the status of it is running. And we have a URL that we can use to access our Sonar Cube deployment. So I'm just going to copy that URL and open up a new tab and paste it in. <coughs> so if this is the first time that you are opening um, your URL, do mind it takes about five to seven minutes for it to uh, be ready. And once that is ready, um, the website will be open and I will be back once the website is up. Hey guys, so um, Sonar Cube is starting. So as you can see, the website has loaded and it says Sonar Cube is starting. So give it about five to seven minutes for it to complete its basic installation. And once the login page is up, you can use the credentials that is admin admin, the username and password. Uh, to log in and uh, once you do log in it would request you to uh, reset your password and then your um, sonar cube is set and you can use it for your code quality thank you if you did like the video please do make sure to subscribe and leave a like take care bye bye